Hi Math322 students. In this sequence of four videos, we'll be talking about circles in Euclidean geometry, going through a few more theorems from Data's text and, uh, and from elsewhere that are going to be important to us. Um, in this first video, we're going to talk about some definitions and uh, remind you of an axiom, and then we'll, we'll give an overview of the three things we'll be proving in the other videos. We'll also discuss briefly your homework and uh, the reading for next time. Okay, to start off with, we're, because we're going to be dealing so much with tangents to circles today, I thought I would uh, review that definition. We'll say that a line L is tangent to a circle omega if there is a unique point P lying on both L and omega. Now you'll remember the line circle continuity principle, this axiom that we discussed earlier in the, in the semester. This was the, uh, the statement that if a line passes through a point inside of a circle, then the line will intersect the circle in two points. So the tangent line is kind of right on the border between um, intersecting the interior of the circle and lying completely in the exterior. A tangent line does not pass through two points, so it can't contain anything on the interior, but it does pass through one point, so it, it does touch the circle. It's not completely exterior to the circle either. All right, now the three things we're going to be talking about in the, uh, in the uh, the videos that follow are these three theorems will show that if you have a tangent to a circle and you draw a line from the center to the uh, to the point of, of tangency then that will form a right angle a tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius at uh, its point of tangency we'll also show kind of a converse to this statement we'll show that if you start with the radius and you just draw a line that is by definition perpendicular to it then that d perpendicular line will have to be a tangent to the circle. Then in the, uh, the third video, we'll do something a bit more interesting, a bit more um, complicated. We'll show that the angle that is formed between a tangent and a chord, so the angle ABC in this picture, is congruent to the inscribed angle that uh, is spanned by that chord. So the angle D in this picture is congruent to the angle ABC, and we'll show that that always happens. Now, looking ahead, uh, your homework will involve proving two theorems about angles in circles and tangents to the circles. Uh, this can be found in Sakai in the usual place. Um, two proofs of things that you've probably seen before and hopefully will find a bit interesting. Um, as with your other homework assignments, you can prove these statements um, by using previous theorems, uh, previously proved statements, and uh, you might want to pay attention to what you learn in these videos as a suggested uh, way of approaching these problems. Finally, uh, for next time, for Monday when we meet again, please uh, skim the, the chapter by data on circles again. Um, also pay attention to the exercises. Things we talk about on Monday will, uh, will be related to some of the exercises that appear in the text. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, we'll move on to the proofs in our next videos. See you there.